In the last video, we got all of our permissions that we are going to require for this application. So uh, reading and writing to external storage and then also using the camera. In this video, now we're going to work on sending the selected URI that the user chooses when they select an image from select photo dialog to post fragment. And also the same with the image bitmap that would be coming from the camera. So in other words, this is going to be a video that's pretty much strictly on uh, dialog fragment to fragment communication. So to start off, let's go down into our post image on click listener here, and we need to uh, create the dialog. So we can do select, select photo dialog, dialog equals new, select photo dialog. And then we do dialog dot show and get uh, fragment manager. And then we pass the name for the dialog. So string dot, I don't even think I actually put it in there. I don't think I did. So let's open up the strings file and add that dialog. So values and strings and dialog names. So I'm just going to copy this line of code here and I'm going to go dialog select photo select photo I'll say select photo and then close our strings file so I'll do dialog select photo and then we need to add one more line of code down here you can kind of do there's two two options there might be more actually but there's two options that come to mind right away you can either take the the objects that we that we want to send so in this case the image bit the image bitmap and the URI and we can send it to the host activity and then to the fragment so in other words send it to search activity and then send it to post fragment or we can go directly from select photo dialog to post fragment which in my opinion is the more efficient way since you're kind of cutting out that middle man of search activity but in order to do that you need to uh, do a couple extra steps but it's not a big deal so we need to do dialog and we need to tell the dialog where it's going to be sending that data so we go set target fragment and then we reference the post fragment which is the fragment that it's sending it to and then we just give it a request code the request code doesn't matter i'm just going to put a one here because and then so we go back to select photo dialog and we need to get that target fragment so right now we're just referencing whatever the context is but if we want to send the data from the dialog to a particular fragment we need to do get a target fragment for getting that particular context that specific context so now this dialog knows where to send the data if the interface is implemented. So now I can go to post fragment and I can implement the interface. So I can go implements on photo selected listener and then I can click the little red light bulb and implement the methods. And I like to move my override methods to the top, just something, something I prefer to do. Yeah, I guess I'll put it below the tag. And now here's where the image uh, the image URI and the U image bitmap are going to show up after uh, the dialog is closed and the user selects their image, their, the image that they want to use. So in the case of the image path, we're going to use the universal image loader to set the image. So first I'll just type a log. So setting the image to uh, image view, oops, image view. And we can use our universal image loader. So set image and we can do uh, image path dot to string and then we reference our widget. And then we would do, we're going to set some global variables. So assign to global variable. And then we're going to go down in here and do the same thing, but just with an image bitmap. So it's a little different. So we'll get our log again. So setting the image, whoops, setting the image to image view. And, but we can't use the universal image loader in this case because it's a bitmap. So we have to do post image dot set image bitmap. And then we reference the bitmap. And then we do the same thing. So assign uh, to a global variable. And we need to create these variables. So let's go down to vars here. So private bitmap equals m selected bitmap. And then private URI, m selected URI. And then we're going to go back up into our override methods. And in this case, we have our bitmap that will be null. And we have our URI that will equal the image path. And then the opposite situation down here. So M selected URI equals null and M selected bitmap equals bitmap. Okay, so that should do it. Let's, uh, let's test it. Okay, let's navigate to post fragment and click on the widget and we'll do select a photo from memory 
And I'm just going to select any photo. It doesn't really matter. I'll just grab this picture of a pen. There we go. And the image is set. That's great. That means everything's working. It's able to get the URI from the dialog and it's going to post fragment and then the universal image loader is displaying it with this line of code right here. So now let's try to take a new one with the camera. So I'll go take photo. So I'm just going to take a photo, uh, anything just to make sure that's working. And I'm going to click OK. And there we go. So you can see that that image is assigned to the image view. So that's it for this video. That's all I wanted to do was move the URI or the bitmap from the fragment from the dialog to the post fragment. And now in the next one, we can start our preparations for uploading that image. So I'll see you guys in the next video.